So today's tutorial is based on a peacock feather. I think the colors are really beautiful and it's in our nature to kind of be drawn to things that are harmonious in color. So blues and greens and browns are all really beautiful together. So I thought it would create a really fun look. I think this is a little bit dramatic, but it's definitely something that you could wear on an everyday basis. I certainly would. Um, so let's get started. So the first step, as always, is to start with primer. And I'm going to be using Urban Decay Primer Potion and Sin from Lash Line to Brow. I'm going to start by putting kind of a transitioning color to help blend out the colors that I'm going to put on the lid. So I'm actually going to use this kind of frosty brown color called Cocoa from Beauty from the Earth. It's just a mid-tone brown. And I'm going to apply that with a the round crease brush. And you're going to go all the way across from the outer corner to the inner corner. And just blend that and soften it. So we're going to do a gradient from the outside corner to the inside corner using some blues and greens. So I'm going to start with the darkest one first and move towards the lighter green that I'm going to use. And all of these are going to be matte colors. So I'm going to start with another Beauty from the Earth color which is called Patriot. It's basically a navy. And I'm going to be applying all of these colors with my Outer V brush for Makeup Geek. So just press it on and then blend it out from there. So I'm pressing this on the outer basically quarter of my eye right into that crease color that we created first with the cocoa and then after I apply each lid color I'm going to go in with my shading brush and just blend the crease color there and just kind of soften the edge of that color that I just applied so that it'll easily blend into the next color. The next color I'm going to use is actually from uh, Urban Decay. It's from my Vice palette. And I'm going to be using this really bright blue color called Chaos. At this point I should be about halfway over and then I'm going to blend it over where I put that Patriot color. The next is a lovely turquoise shade from Beauty from the Earth called Seven Seas. I'm just going to apply that right on the outside of Chaos and softening that transition. The last color to apply to the lid is from Sugar Pill. It's called the Acid Berry. And just going right to the corner here. Then if you take that shader brush, make sure it's, make sure it's clean and just ever so lightly sweep across. It will kind of help transition each color into the next. And I'm going to apply just a bit more of that cocoa color. Alright, so now I'm ready to apply the highlight. I'm going to first put down just the tiniest bit of NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil and Milk. I'm actually going to apply it with a little brush. I'm just going to grab it right on the end of the brush there, sweep it in that small space, and then use my brush that I always use for my highlighter to apply a little bit of this Beauty from the Earth color called Butt Naked. It's really pretty with this, especially since all the other colors are matte. Alright, so for the corner and underneath, I'm actually going to um, use that milk pencil again, right in the inner corner, and then just kind of drag it all the way across. Blend milk right up into that green, and then blend all the way across. You can use your finger if you need to. And then using that same detail brush, grabbing butt naked again, I'm going to apply it right over the white. Make sure to clean my shader brush really good since I was blending with those darker colors. And then I'm just going to take that and kind of sweep it right under just to clean up a little bit. So for the eyeliner, I'm going to be using this uh, Physician's Formula Eye Booster Eyeliner in Ultra Black. I'm going to start in the very corner and pull that out to about where my crease line kind of starts. Then I'm going to come from the lash line and draw a little shape out. And then you can just fill it right in. Just, you know, double check that it looks the same on both sides. And then I'm just going to continue that line all the way across. And just make sure it's right along your lash line all the way over. The last step is just to do the mascara. So I'm going to curl my lashes with this handy little curler. 
And I'm just going to put on a couple of coats of my High Impact Mascara in Black from Clinique. Okay, Vogue time. And let's finish the rest of the face. I'm going to be contouring with my bronze shade from my Pixie Trio here. Using my Makeup Geek uh, wedge. I keep calling it a wedge brush. It's actually called an angle blush brush. It's hard to say. I'm just going to grab that. I have this really Barbie doll pink color from Beauty from the Earth called Pinked. And I'm going to apply that with a stipple brush. Sweep it onto the cheek. Alright, so the last step is lip gloss. And I got this lip gloss last year, last September or something, in the My Glam, which is now Ipsy. It doesn't have a name. It just says My Glam Glam Gloss, and the shade is 01. It's actually really nice. It's not sticky. It does have a little bit of a bubblegum smell. I'm not really big on makeups that smell. I worked at Clinique too long. Uh, but I really like it. No liner, just the gloss. Okay, and that completes our peacock look. Uh, I will write in the description box below all the products that I used. If you guys have any questions of where to get them, be sure and post a comment either here or on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash the daily glamour. You can also check me out on Instagram uh, or Pinterest. Both of those are under the daily glamour. Look forward to seeing you guys soon. Bye. So I finished the look and I was looking at the video and while I think it's really pretty and fun for every day, and I usually do wearable looks every once in a while. Isn't it fun to just do something a little bit crazy? So this brings me to a new segment on my tutorials that I'll include every once in a while. And I'm going to call it, These Go to 11. And what I'm going to do in these segments, as exhibited here in a minute, is to take a look that is kind of every day and just amp it up a little bit. Lashes and glitter and wear some crazy lipstick. So we're going to try that with this look and just kind of make it a little bit more intensified. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually brighten up the white that I put on. So I'm going to take this sugar pill color called Taiko, which is a really white matte color, and an angle brush. And I'm just going to brush it over that butt naked color I did earlier. Next I'm going to widen the liner a little bit. So I'm going to use my black gel liner uh, from Mica Cosmetics and a really small little brush that I apply it with. So I'm just going to go right in and thicken that liner that I already have on. But just thicken all the way across. And now the other eye. Y'all get to see that I freakishly apply makeup with both of my hands. <laughs> I'm actually going to use this gel liner to put on my waterline. So I'm going to apply it with the same brush and just pull my eye down. Oh, it tickles. Woo. And just apply that all the way across. And I'm going to let that liner set. And also, I want to procrastinate putting on these insane lashes because I'm really scared. I'm going to add a little bit to the contour. So I'm going to take just a little bit of this um, baked bronzer by Urban Decay called Gilded. And I'm going to put that just right on top of what I had before. And then for the blusher part, I'm actually going to use this blusher from NYX Desert Rose. Pretty good pink color. Before I do the lips, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit more to the eyes. Um, which is to take a little bit of this glitter from Lit Cosmetics. And this color is called Champagne Wishes. And I also have a liner brush from Lit Cosmetics like this and I'm gonna use my glitter adhesive and I'm just gonna dip that brush like so right into the adhesive I get off any excess that's there and roll that into the glitter can I see it on my brush here and I'm just gonna put it like in my inner corner and on any of the white part that I added Hey. 
Okay, so we got the glitter on. Um, I want to do the lips next and then put the lashes off till the very end because I'm terrified. So I'm going to line first because I'm going to use this really deep kind of wine color. I'm going to line first with this Jordana brand liner. So I'm just going to line my lips pretty good with this. Kind of blend it together a little bit so it softens that line. And then what I'm going to add over top of that is from Wet n Wild. It's from the Fergie collection. Um, and the color is called Cabernet. It's really dark. Okay, here come the lashes. I'm very scared. I bought these <laughs> insane things. Uh, they're actually by Ardell, and they have a line called Wild Lash, a roaring collection. And I actually bought three different ones. This one is peacock looking. They kind of look uh, like feathers. And they have uh, almost an iridescent blue-green color to them. They're a little insane, so we're gonna see how this goes. I have to trim them just a tiny bit because they're kind of too long. I'm gonna put my lash glue, just a little dollop of it on my workspace here. And then just with the end of one of my brushes, I'm just gonna you know, apply it across the band. This band is really thick, and usually what that means is they're a pain in the butt to apply. So don't get frustrated if it takes you a couple of times. And let that sit for just a second. And then usually start in the outer corner, lay it down, and press, and then grab my other hand, bring the other side over. You kind of have to go to your zen place um, to keep your eye from blinking too much. Okay, those are insane. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so I've got the first set on. You can see them when I turn sideways. Holy crap. Feels like I have bugs on my eyes or something. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the second one. I trimmed the end off already. So again, starting on the outside. Bringing it all the way in. And if you get a little glue, that's okay. It'll clean up. And then to cover up a little bit of the glue in the band, I'm just going to take that black gel liner and fix any little areas that kind of stand out to me. I don't really think anyone's going to notice <laughs> because they're going to be seeing the insane lashes. There's a little another side view for you. Wow. That certainly turned it to 11, possibly 12. All right, so that is the completed peacock turn to 11 look. Be sure and check below, and I went ahead and added these products to uh, everything that I added secondary to this look. And thanks for checking this tutorial out. I'm having so much fun making these for you guys, and um, I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.